What is up guys, Minibean75 here, and today I'm back with another episode of Minecraft Creations. This guys is going to be the WWE, or technically WWF, SummerSlam 1992 Arena, or really it's a stadium. Um, this event took place at Wembley Stadium in London, England. Um, I believe this was the WWE's first big show that wasn't in the United States, but it also might have been one of their first outdoor shows. Um... I know WrestleMania 9, I think, was probably their first one, but actually, I'd have to check the years. This might actually have been before um, WrestleMania 9. Anyway, um, the event itself, I really don't know much about it. I watched a little bit of it while I was building the uh, the stadium, um, but realistically, like my prime WWE watching time period is like 1996 to like 2006, really. So, I mean, anything else really... Depending on the event, I might not have even actually seen it. Um, a lot of this older stuff, it just it doesn't draw to me like you know the Attitude Era, the Ruthless Aggression Era. So, um, but yeah. So anyway, guys, this is what the stadium looks like. I think it looks awesome. I'm definitely curious to know what you guys think about it. First, we'll start with the entrance. This is when the WWE or the WWF at the time was still doing pretty basic entrances. Basically, as you can see, it was just like a blue curtain. They had a little bit of scaffolding set up, and then basically they had just like a th um, like a black structure, I guess, that was basically in the front of it where it said SummerSlam. So thankfully, since I have the ability to use the banners, I've got it where it says SummerSlam there. And then our overhead um, of the ring, basically it's pretty basic. This is definitely the biggest structure I'm pretty sure they used over the ring to date. Obviously, you can kind of see where the, you know, the newer outdoor arenas, um, basically it's, you know, you can kind of tell this is where they kind of came from. Um, cause a lot of them, other than like the inside stuff and how it looks, or obviously there's no screens or anything, but this really is kind of, you know, the start of what we see today. Um, but yes, and obviously you can see around the edges there is where it says SummerSlam as well. Um, yeah, I mean, I really think it looks really good. This, um, section up here has nothing in it. This, I believe, uh, either they used it for storage or they actually had people up here working. Um, I know they had like different, like boxes where they had stuff stored up here i didn't put anything up here because you can't really see exactly what's up there so i figured it just looked better kind of blank like that and then the uh ring lighting is basically the same setup at the time as what they used um at, at like a regular arena um it's pretty much just the octagon design and then we've got the different lights in here um yeah, and then the other cool part about this one is this is where they still they use the the raised up ring platform. The other one that I've built that had this would have been WrestleMania three. So I think around that time period, um, the few shows they would have done in something this big, they use that so that you know the people that are sitting way back here still have like a pretty good. I mean, you can kind of see there. Obviously, imagine that there's people in front of you, but you can actually still have a good view of the ring. Where any more. You know, if you had the ring was down exactly where it's supposed to be, you'd have a heck of a time seeing it. I mean, even in the WrestleManias now, um, it's down low, so you really kind of can't see it live. You can probably see it a little bit, um, but you, I was, you're going to have, like, the big screen up above where you can actually kind of see um, a better view of what exactly you're looking at. But, yeah, so this is the arena, guys, or the stadium, technically. I've had a lot of people that... Uh, requested this after I have built Wembley because this is still the old version of Wembley so this is the version that they would have used during this event um, but yeah so definitely let me know down below guys what you guys think if you like this video make sure you hit the like button down below you have no idea how much it helps me out if you guys want to see some exclusive time lapses and other exclusive content guys make sure you head down in the description to my patreon account for literally as low as a dollar a month you guys will get to see some awesome exclusive content that only the folks that help support me that are going to get to see it and honestly guys the way that youtube's going nowadays that is going to be the best way to directly support me with the way that they're doing it with content that you know that they're deeming is for kids my channel could get hit with that to be honest i've never remotely um tried to make my content for kids yeah do i make stuff in minecraft and is minecraft now considered a kids game just because kids play it sure but you tell me somebody under 13 that's building something like this they're not um so like i said with how things are going i may have to you know i may have to say my content is for kids just so that i don't risk getting sued and if I do that, I mean, I'm going to make almost no ad revenue or anything from, 
YouTube and honestly it could that could cause me to stop making YouTube videos altogether. So if you're watching this to this point and you guys are you know you guys want to support me and you know want me to keep making videos, Patreon is definitely the way to go. And like I said, literally you guys can donate a dollar a month. And if everybody did that, think about that. I have almost 15,000 subscribers. If everybody down donated a dollar a month, if 10% donated a dollar a month, I would make more than enough just off of that, that I would be able to do it full time. Um, based on, you know, the wages that I make right now between sponsorships and stuff, I could do YouTube full time. So I'm definitely saying for you guys that are watching to this point, I don't know what's going to happen after the first of the year. I didn't make a dedicated video. This wasn't something I really wanted to talk about, but I figured at the end of a video like this, um, yeah, so definitely either follow me on Patreon or, you know, if you want to buy merchandise. I don't have a ton of merchandise out just because really I'm just a one-man team. So, I mean, it's kind of hard for me to come up with different ideas for stuff. But, yeah, if you guys want to support me, that is going to be the best way to do it just to ensure that you guys can keep watching my content. I know I have a lot of fans that, you know, they really, really like my content and they really want to support me. Um and if you can't support me monetarily, that's okay. The other best way that you can support me is by sharing this video. Um, share it on your Facebook or your Twitter, your Instagram, whatever you use. And then follow me on those platforms. I'm on all three of those platforms. Give me a follow. Um, and then obviously if you want to get in touch with me, that's going to be the best way to do it as well. So with that, guys, I just want to thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.